Okay. Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is uh, we're going to install a train TXV system. This is the one we pulled out. I want you just to look how corrosive it is. The pan was rusted. It's in bad shape. And I'm just going to point out a couple things. This was the equalizing tube, okay? This here's the TXV capillary tubes. Now here's what we got here. This is the replacement for that particular coil. I want you to notice this is aluminum. That's copper, this is aluminum. So they sent me the TXV equalizing tube, sensing bulb, okay? So here's, I'm just going to go through this very quickly, then I'll show you the final product. The TXV itself, you're going to take this off. You're going to screw I'm going to screw this on. Okay, now all I'm doing right now is just hand tightening stuff it's for demonstration. Then you're going to take the piece that was on the capillary tubes and you're going to put it right here. Okay. Now here is your sensing bulb. Very gently unwind it. You want to put this sensing bulb at the 3 o'clock position. And you always want to aim this little piece out toward the front. Now I'm going to take this off, but the sensing bulb will actually end up right there. We will use a metal strap to fasten the sensing bulb, okay? Do not use plastic. I've been behind jobs before where people have used plastic, and then worst of all, they wouldn't even wrap it. The metal strap conducts the heat better, and it gives a truer sense of the sensing bulb. Then you're going to want to wrap it with the wrap that's provided with this coil, okay? Now that covers that part. Here is the equalizing tube, so you're going to take the equalizing tube, take it over here, and you're going to put it on right here. Now, I want to show you something about the equalizer. So you take your cap off. I've already taken the liberty. Take the Schrader valve out. You don't take the Schrader valve out, then you lose the whole purpose of the equalizing tube. It won't work. So that'll go right here. Just like that. Okay? Now, one more thing I'm just going to point out to you real quick. We had to do a field manufactured piece. So I just got a piece of... 3 h tube and I just kind of bend it around. I know about where my stuff comes out of front. So we're going to take this, we're going to sweat this on to where it comes out right here. Okay? And I just made a nice long loop so I wouldn't have no restriction and no hard turns to keep the friction loss down. Okay, so I'll show you the final product in just a moment.